हॅलो आय मिस प्रज्ञा पोरमुळे असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजन्स अँड आर्ट सायन्स ऑफ ए एस एस एम एस आय ओ टी पुणे वेलकम टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग ऑन फेडरेटेड लॉनिंग वॉट इज फेडरेटेड लॉनिंग इज ऑल्सो नोन ॲज अ कोलॅबरेटिव्ह लॉनिंग इच इज अ फील्ड ऑफ सब फील्ड ऑफ मशीन लॉनिंग इट फोकस इज ऑन सिनारिओज वेअर मल्टिपल एंटिटीज ऑफन रेफर टू ॲज अ क्लायंट्स कोलॅबरेटिव्हली ट्रेन अ मॉडेल वायल एन्शुरिंग दॅट दे डेटा रिम इज डिसेंट्रलाइज सो दिस इज इन कॉन्ट्रास्ट टू अ ट्रॅडिशनल मशीन लर्निंग वेअर डेटा इज सेंट्रली स्टोर्ड सो यर द जनरल प्रिन्सिपल ऑफ फेडरेटेड लर्निंग इन्वॉल्व ट्रेनिंग लोकल मॉडेल ऑन लोकल डेटा सॅम्पल्स अँड एक्सचेंजिंग पॅरामीटर्स सो द पॅरामीटर्स कॅन बी द वेट्स दॅट कॅन बी बायसेस ऑफ अ डिप्युर नेटवर्क बिटवीन दीज लोकल नोट्स ॲट सम फ्रिक्वेन्सी टू जनरेट अ ग्लोबल मॉडेल शेअर्ड बाय ऑल नोट्स so to explain this concept consider an example like we all friends want to make a best uh, lemonade recipe any recipe you can consider it not necessary this is the one but instead of uh, gathering in one place each of us is remain at their own house or home and in the kitchen with the lemons and we are experimenting there with all and every day uh, we are sharing our recipe improvements only our recipe improvements and not the actual lemons okay so what will happen in in this such case that everyone get the benefit from each other's discoveries and without having to leave their house or a home so over that time after some span already so all of us collectively come up with the best recipe i hope uh, this scenario has already happened in case of our covid <laughs> right so uh, with this example we can explain uh, we can uh, i hope you, you got the idea of what exactly this predator learning is so we can say this is similar to how the federated learning work in distributed systems so here each device it can be a smartphone or a computer use its own data to improve a model then the improvements are shared with the center servers that combine them to improve the overall model so the actual data stays on the it remains on the original device and uh, preserved by preserving its privacy so the federated learning allows us to build better model by learning from lot of data that are spread across many devices without having to move the data itself so uh, this is a uh, this is useful when dealing with the sensitive data like our personal data Uh, personal health information on smartphones so this is a win win for improving the models and maintaining the privacy so in this diagram you can see we have the server which coordinating the training of a global uh, ai model and uh, we have the local ai models devices with local ai models so we can uh say that these are all different different uh, friends they are at their home 
uh, with their smartphones and then we are uh, one which we are coordinating at the end so one of the primary characteristic of this federated learning is the data heterogeneity due to this decentralized nature of the client data there is no guarantee that data samples held by each client are independently and identically distributed so the federated learning is concerned with and motivated by the issues like data privacy data minimization data access rights the applications rain was variety of uh, research areas including defense telecommunication internet of things pharmaceuticals and so on thank you